Good morning, good morning from beautiful mountains of Kyrgyzstan. Today is a very exciting day for me. Today it's gonna be my first time trying the horse riding in the mountains and we will be following and going to the lake in the mountain itself as well. So I've been getting ready and also I have my breakfast ready in this beautiful guest house. Uh, at the moment lights are off so it's a little bit dark but this is my champion breakfast some eggs tea honey uh, butter bread and uh, and also more water more more for for the tea so very excited to take you in this journey with me guys stay tuned and see you in the horse riding hello <laughs> so we have our horses ready we will be going with my guide two people two horses they look beautiful. So my guide doesn't speak English that well, so we will be trying with Russian and I will try to translate and guide you through what are we doing and how we are going. my okay. Spasiba. So this this is the one mine. Spokojny, okay. <laughs> no? <laughs> crazy? <laughs> so he's saying this one is more calm and other one is more crazy. So that's why they are giving me this one. I like the colors as well. Hey there. Super. Normal. <laughs> Super. Super. Amazing feeling to be in the mountains by the river on the back of the horse going to the lake. Amazing. Kyrgyzstan is truly beautiful and a very unique place to visit. Now we are in the middle of the forest, which is the restricted area actually, so there are no cars and many things are not allowed here so to make sure that the forest stays as it is look at this mountains and the river very beautiful so far i'm enjoying my horse riding this is actually the longest ride i have ever done normally i would just get on the back of the horse and then maybe a few minutes ride and then done but this one is very special it's a long distance it's very happy end because uh, there will be a big lake waiting for us mountain lake with a beautiful surroundings as i know from the pictures but very excited to see it with my own eyes and also show you guys how beautiful is the kyrgyzstan so if Kyrgyzstan is not on your travel list, then you are probably missing a lot from this region. This region in general, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan is very beautiful. But Kyrgyzstan comes with lots of mountains and the nature, beautiful landscape, amazing people and lots of activities as well, like horse riding, staying in the yurt and uh, skiing and watching the nomad games and everything else. So, Kyrgyzstan is truly a very exciting country and if it's not on your travel list you should make sure that you add it to there. Look at this beauty this is getting better and better and this is also place heaven for hikers if you are enjoying hiking then Kyrgyzstan is the place to be at and enjoy this beautiful river 
mountains and forests, people as well, and also very delicious food. I love this view, it's incredible. I was thinking to do the hike for hours, but I think this is more fun actually than just to hike, but I will have more opportunities to hike in Kyrgyzstan. I'm just smiling like a crazy because this is beautiful. Look at this, there is no real roads, but just enjoying the horse riding inside the forest next to the river. Oh wow, I'm very happy. And probably this is the trip of my life, Kyrgyzstan. And sometimes I need to bend over like this to pass the trees but it's truly amazing and my horse is doing a very good job <laughs> he's taking care of me that I don't get wet not muddy but yeah so far going well enjoy the ride guys with me I will be silent for a while so you can get the feeling of being here. Truly peaceful and very beautiful experience and very unique for me. As I said, first time doing the horse riding in a long distance in the mountains. So in a different country actually. <laughs> Loving it so far. Now I'm leading the the crew <laughs> we changed also the uh, the horses because my this horse is a little bit bigger and stronger and we are going uphill so it was a little bit harder for the other horse but we are all good right now so normal now so normal, okay. <laughs> super i have super nice guide as well we've been talking with my broken russian and everything going amazing so far we are inside the uh, forest right now but anytime soon we should be start going down Sudada. okay we should be start going down and then later we will be in the lake so very exciting On the top of the mountain, we met these uh, cows enjoying their time. Oh, super. The uphill is done. Horses will relax a little bit. Uh, yeah, so far, beautiful views to the mountains with the snow on the top. If you can maybe see from here, the mountains has a snow on the top still even it's may right now but very beautiful and this cows were the first animals and the humans uh, we have seen so far we are on the road almost one hour and a half still not close to the lake uh, and haven't seen anybody to be honest on the road and the roads are like this sometimes it's muddy sometimes watery and sometimes just straight but the horse is doing a very good job taking us along without any interruptions no problems yes 
very unique experience. Check this beautiful view out, guys. Look at this amazing free space to enjoy the view to the mountains without trees. Of course, trees are beautiful as well, but this place is very special as well. Okay, we will be passing by the water. Again, the horse is doing very, very good job. Not to make our foot not to make our food wet. Amazing. I love this. <laughs> Another 20 minutes into the hike with the horses where we are arrived to this beautiful place not sure if you can see but on the ground there are some tulips very interesting how their landscape and uh, also the green greens are changing from the forest to normal landscape and then different type of um, plants and everything and very beautiful view to the mountain as well. So far, I've been leading the, the crew. My the, my horse is better. He knows the way, so that's the reason I'm taking care of him. And this right up here. What an amazing view! And then here you can see the river, which is the water coming from the lake, which we are about to see very, very soon. Amazing mountains, look at this beautiful shape. And then on the other side, it's green hills. And then also behind me, there's a snowy mountains. Amazing and very unique, beautiful experience. We have, I think, ar around 20 minutes more to get to the lake, not too far away. And there are also cows and some people with their horses leading the cows to get the best grass from Kyrgyzstan mountains to have the best meat and the best milk and everything else. Cows. Hello, hello cows. I'm sure they are super happy here, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> these are small cows, baby one, baby, baby. Ah, okay. Sorry, <laughs> Güller. Yellow flowers. I'm sure they are super happy here with the mountains and so much grass, as much as you can eat, all you can eat in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. Might be wondering about the weather. It's not too cold, as you can see. I'm in the shorts, uh, not shorts, shirt. <laughs> I have uh, long trousers, which is also protecting me from all the grass and and the trees when we are passing by from the forest. But otherwise, it's not cold. Just in case, I have my bag and inside uh, I have my jacket as well. But during the night, it can get really cold. As soon as you don't see the sun anymore, once there's a sunset, it gets really cold in the mountains. Look at this tall mountains. This is, I think, around 4,000 meters up. 
with the snow on the top. And these ones are a little bit lower, maybe 1,500 meters. Not too much snow on them. And summer is slowly coming, so that's why they are melting, I believe. Look at the color of the water. Super blue, green at the same time. On our tourists, okay. <laughs> we met some guys, they are from Uzbekistan. Nah? Okay, so These people were from Uzbekistan, they are from the Osh. They are living in Osh city, in Kyrgyzstan, but originally from Uzbekistan. Irikol. Okay. So like Bashoi uh, Ozera, da? Triti. Okay. So this is the third biggest lake, as I mentioned. Super beautiful colors. And the name of the lake is Irikol. It means kind of large lake in the translation. I cannot get enough of this view. This is beautiful. And the mountains, we are getting more closer to them. And I think this is the perfect place to make some pictures for Instagram and make some memories as well. So I will connect with you guys a little bit later. See you. I have seen the snow from far away and I took the chance to come actually be close to the snow and show it to you as well guys. So this is the snow which is melting and creating this type of small uh, rivers. And these are the rivers which is feeding the lake itself. And check out the view. It's incredible. Sometimes sun is out, sometimes there's a big clouds, but overall it's a nice weather and beautiful views. Pretty amazing. I love I love Kyrgyzstan. This type of places you don't you cannot really experience in any part of the world, maybe Switzerland, which comes with lots of expensive costs to stay, to explore around. But you can get the good chance to spend less money, be in the places that it's untouched. These Kyrgyzstan lands are untouched basically because there's not many tourists and there's no construction going on. This nature is as it is, as you can see right now so no change has been done and there's only animals and people just passing by with their horses or donkeys but not really building anything no great construction or any type of construction basically so it's very beautiful we are just passing by and as a small lake mountain lake this is the third lake we have seen already and right now we are on the way going to the big lake which is the Sarıçe lake with the name and look at this beauty behind me with the mountains I love it every time I say it's beautiful it's even getting much better so and our horses are doing so good they relaxed a little bit little bit when we were by the lake and now continuing our road Now we are going off-road to see the small lake. Look at these tulips here, guys. It's amazing. Oh, wow. Beautiful. This is the another lake, which we will not go too close. Gullar, the flowers are beautiful. 
he was saying tulpanda. there's a tul tulpanda yeah, the, these tulips are beautiful in the wild and the mountain view doesn't get older check this out guys beautiful <laughs> amazing красиво очень красиво натуральная природа натуральная природа да спасибо большое And finally, we have the beautiful view to the Sarichalek lake, which is the main lake in this area. Look at this view, guys. It's amazing. Wow, incredible. So we will be walking close by there and we'll show you more. Time to continue our trip. Da, Daroge Sarichalek. Okay, this is the lake of Sarichalek. With the, we are quite high actually. We trust the legs of the horses, to be honest. At least I do, because if you fall from here, it's not a good idea with the horses. I'm more worried about them than myself. But this view is beautiful. Like in the Switzerland. Amazing view. Sometime we will be down by the lake. I'm gonna show you as well this side of this side of the beauty of the Kyrgyzstan. This is the another lake, the small one. And there's even snow here, you can see. It's about to melt. Beautiful views. And my heart breaks when I see plastic on the way in this beautiful place. We have decided to rest next to this small lake and we also have a picnic. We have bread, uh, some vegetables, eggs, salt, water, which looks very delicious. Spasibo Bashoi! Just arrived to the another beautiful viewpoint of Sarichalek Lake. Look at this. Amazing. And my horse should be also very happy because we are almost there. Check this out, this beautiful view. And yes, almost there. Almost there. But this definitely, that's not how I imagined Kyrgyzstan because it looks really beautiful. More like uh, pictures you have seen about Switzerland. This is more looks like a Switzerland than actual Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> it's amazing. The snowy mountain on the background, beautiful blue lake and so amazing trees all everywhere is green so may june is actually a very good time to travel to kyrgyzstan because of the weather and also it's not too cold as well as you can see all this greenness and get to do also outdoor activities like horse riding so 
definitely this season is very good time to visit Kyrgyzstan not too cold not too hot and in fact people call Kyrgyzstan Switzerland of Central Asia so it's for a very good reason and I'm not surprised about it and finally biggest moment of my whole trip to here is the Sarcha Lake lake this looks amazing and very calming on the background there's a mm, on the background there's mountains with the snow and amazing green hills and blue water so peaceful An interesting thing, there's actually a graveyard right here and it's only one and I asked who is this or why this graveyard is here he mentioned that my tour guide mentioned that he died here in a catastrophe so he had some accident in the lake he'd been drunk so this is kind of the memory for him here And we came all the way from here down. So we have been spending some time here taking some beautiful pictures for Instagram for my profile and also making some TikTok videos and very good thing is that they are protecting this area so this is a restricted zone you cannot camp here you cannot just walk in uh, there's a security and everything around and very good thing is that there's no restaurants there's no cafes uh, the only thing is possible is the toilet for the visitors and different than that nothing else is possible so which keeps this beautiful place untouched still until today and I am very happy about the idea that they are not trying to make a business out of this and the good thing is that there is a, actually um, motors um, boats to take a tour in the lake we will check the prices if it will be reasonable then I wanna take the take the chance to do the tour let's see how, how much is the pricing finished our trip in the lake and just passing by this river look at the color of the river this is the most blue water river I have seen in my entire life during 27 years this is crazy and this is the river actually coming from the lake which you have seen Sarı Çelek Lake wow very beautiful Check this out. And seems like there is another lake which this river makes. Truly amazing. I am to be honest very tired after I know it's six seven hours we are on the road behind the horse and sometimes hiking so also horse riding is uh, burns a lot of calories so I'm quite tired but I'm still enjoying the trip Kyrgyzstan is truly amazing and keeps amazing me still and this is my beautiful horsey wow here is another lake which been fitted from the Sarichelek lake with this beautiful river which creates another lake not too far away from Sarichelek
truly peaceful and incredible experience to be here in such a beautiful weather. So this is I guess the end of the trip and end of the video as well. We will be home around 30-40 minutes with our horses. So thank you so much for coming along with me in this journey and make sure you follow me for more Kyrgyzstan related stories. More videos are coming from this beautiful country and I will show you the beauty of this country for the one last time in this video.